Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 24th of 2020. Well, it is titled Moon Corona, Halo and Arcs over Manitoba. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken of the moon. Now the moon is vastly overexposed at the center there in order to bring out some of the other details that we see in the sky in this image. So the moon would be there at the center and it appears in this image much bigger than it otherwise would be. The actual moon itself was a much smaller portion here. And some of the things that we see, first of all, very close to the moon, we see some multicolored rings. And those are the uh, what we call the corona of the sun caused by diffraction of light by little drops of water or ice that occur in that direction. So as the light passes through them, it gets split up into its colors and gives us the various colors of the rainbow that we see there. Now a little further out we see what is called the 22 degree halo around the edge here. Now 22 degrees means how far it is from the moon. And this is one of the ways we can tell the moon is vastly overexposed. The moon is only about a half a degree in the sky, meaning that you should be able to fit 44 moons out there. And of course, you couldn't with the size of the moon in this image simply because it had to be overexposed in order to see everything else you wanted to see in the image. So that 22 degree halo radiates 22 degrees from the moon and is caused by um, ice crystals in this case cylindrical ice crystals. So that is caused to the around the halo around the uh, sorry the, the halo around the moon and further to either side we see what are called the uh, moon dogs and those are again caused by light refracting in this case through flat ice crystals so flattened ice crystals in this in this case will give us the very specific moon dogs off to either side. And finally we can see the tangent arcs above and below us uh, again at the 22 degree halo and that those are also caused by ice uh, crystals but these are um, hexagonal crystals. So we get different types of ice crystals give different types of refraction will bend the light differently and can give rise to a number of different effects including the uh, overall halo itself the 22 degree halo the moon dogs on either side to the left and right of it and then above and below we see the tangent arcs. So it takes quite a bit to happen to get this image and in fact just by coincidence happening to be able to have all of the different ice crystals in the correct positions to be able to see this. And as it is noted in the description it didn't last very long within a few minutes it had already disappeared and the sky had gone pretty much back to normal. So a matter of happening to have those crystals at the right time to be able to see the image of the moon with all of these other features around it. So that was our picture of the day for February the 24th of 2020. It was titled Moon Corona, Halo and Arcs over Manitoba. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Jupiter sized magnet. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.